welcome back. So uh, this week I wanted to start mixing in some videos that talk about all of the really fun music that has influenced me over the course of uh, my life. And uh, there's really just a, a ton of great stuff out there to talk about. And I'd like to try to capture at least some of it in a series of videos that I'm going to call Influence Since. So with such a big list of uh, things to start with, I mean, my mind was going crazy thinking about all the places I could begin. And then I thought, well, why don't I begin at the beginning? Uh, because my love of music started from when I was a very young kid. And there's a short list of, some f of a few key collections of things that I used to listen to a ton back then uh, that really kind of kicked me off. And this is one of them. Uh, the Steve Miller Band, probably considered by many to be a key artist from the classic rock era of music, uh, was probably at the height of their popularity in the late 1970s. This album, Book of Dreams, came out right in the heart of that in 1977. Um, you know, I had a lot of records that I used to love to listen to as a kid over and over, but as far as I know, this is the first real music album that I ever actually sought out. Uh, as a little kid, I had heard the song Swing Town on the radio, and I actually asked my mom to please get me that album. Alright, so I played the heck out of this record. Uh, the, the jacket here is badly worn, the sleeve inside is actually torn, the record itself is, is cracked partway through, uh, but it played well enough for me, for years and years of uh, my early childhood. and. Um, you know, I, I really came to love it. Uh, this uh, this jacket actually even has a, a serial number written on it in ballpoint pen because uh, apparently at some point, it, as my uh, kid engineer self decided that my vast collection of two or three record albums had to be cataloged. Um, why I started with this particular number, 865, uh, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I, I'm guessing there was a good reason at the time. Now, fortunately for me, uh, my younger sister has a fantastic memory, and several years ago, uh, she picked up for me a fresh copy of this album because she remembered that I liked it as a kid. Um, and uh, I actually spun this a few nights ago just to kind of, uh, you know, give it a listen for the first time in many years. Um, now, to be fair, uh, some aspects of the record are a little bit dated, um, but a lot of it still holds up pretty well. Um, more importantly for me, though, um, that listen actually really helped me zero in on some of the aspects of the music that I think really influenced me uh, in terms of music I listened to later and eventually in terms of the music that I wrote. Over the course of the album, it incorporates a lot of things, a lot of elements that I really like uh, in my favorite albums. Uh, it's got diversity, it's got experimentation, it's got a lot of power to it. Uh, and it's got some flow to it. Uh, I, I really like all those things. Um, I think it's also a record that stands up very well as an album, not just as a collection of individual songs. And I have a whole philosophy about the artistic medium of the album as opposed to collections of songs that I'd like to talk about in another video sometime. Um, the album makes great use of instrumentals. Uh, that's something else that I grew to love over time and uh, later on with a lot of the, the artists and albums that I really came to like. The uh, album's got three instrumentals on it. Two of them are short little surreal introductions or uh, segues between songs. Um, and then the third is kind of this organic upbeat closing piece that kind of uh, wraps up the record at the end. On this record, the band was also really clearly playing around with the synthesizers of the time, uh, openly experimenting with what the new technology could do. Um, they did this in spots as featured kind of things on the record, but then they also did them you know, in the mix as part, parts of songs and layered in, which was really cool. Um, now beyond all of this, I think this album also has a couple of very basic elements that I think my young formative ears kind of latched onto. Um, the first is some very clear and well-constructed guitar riffs and licks. Uh, songs like Jet Airliner and The Stake just have some of these great classic rock riffs to them. Um, things that, uh, that just, you know, just really clear, nothing muddy about it at all. Um, the song, uh, 
uh, Sacrifice has a uh, uh, guitar solo, some guitar solos in it that are a little bit uh, risky. And there are some other kind of expressive solos on the record. So I think that was another element. Um, there definitely uh, something else is that there were some kind of interesting breaks and interludes uh, in spots on the record, particularly in the song My Own Space. They kind of take off for a moment and, and kind of head into a, into a spot that kind of that kind of breaks the song up. Uh, another element is the layering of ostinatos and patterns. Uh, the introduction to Swing Town, uh, one of the singles off the album, uh, is all about that slowly building things up to uh, to bring the song in at the beginning. Uh, that's something else that I uh, even recognized from other music uh, that I that I really came to love. Uh, that I think uh, was introduced to me on this record, and. Um, you know, finally, some instrumentation and fills that were a little bit outside the bounds of uh, what you would expect from sort of a standard live lineup recording. Um, uh, the song Wintertime has a sitar on it, for example. Uh, the song Babes in the Wood has some layered alternative percussion and some other instruments in there. So I think these are all things that, uh, elements that I, that, that kind of seeped in, um, along with uh, all this other stuff and, and much other music that I'd like to talk about in future videos, uh, I think all of this kind of, kind of soaked in at this early stage and, uh, and kind of seeded the elements that I eventually sought to find in my own music. So uh, if you've ever liked anything I've done, and if you've ever liked any of these elements within it, you, you may have this record uh, to, uh, to partially thank for that. It's one in a long line of albums and artists to follow over the course of my life that, uh, that I think really had a big influence on uh, the music that I sought to create. So, thanks for listening.